Hey, a friend, Chris here from WhiteLogicProRules.com, the website that helps you get the most you can out of Apple's Logic Pro. Today, I want to share with you what probably could be considered a more advanced technique or feature in Logic. But if you are someone that tends to have to bounce between Logic Pro and a separate audio file editor, such as Isotopes RX, Acon Digital's Acoustica, you know, for the purposes of denoising, de popping and clicking, just cleaning up audio. And if you have to export and bounce audio files back and forth constantly, and you just wish that you could make an edit in that separate audio file editor and have it appear instantly in Logic Pro, that correction, you actually can. Let me show you how right now. All right, as I stated at the top of this video, we are going to make some restorative edits to some audio in this Logic Pro project. But instead of exporting regions and files out of Logic Pro to then import into that separate application, Logic actually has a feature that allows you to open your regions and your files directly into that separate application. And once you make your edits in that separate app, those changes are immediately transferred back to Logic Pro. Now, a word of caution is required here. We are talking about the possibility of making changes in a destructive manner to your regions and audio files. Destructive meaning permanent changes that you cannot undo at a later time. So it's always best practice to back up your audio files, back up your projects in the event that you make a permanent destructive change that was not intended. And I'll be sure to show you a couple of ways that you can back up your audio files right in Logic Pro in today's video. All right, the project in front of us on screen has been sent to me by a friend of mine. I'm going to be mixing the song for him. And as I've been poking around the project, I've noticed there's a couple bits of audio that I think I'm going to want to make some sort of corrective or restorative edits. Specifically, if we take a look at just about all of the guitar tracks in the session, if we zoom in further, you can see that all these guitar tracks apparently were recorded in stereo, even though the guitar performance itself was recorded only to the right side of these stereo files. If we take a listen to just one of these guitar tracks, All right, so as you can hear, the guitar is only on the right side, even though it appears to be in stereo. This is actually easy to fix in Logic Pro itself. We could just go to the channel mode button right next to the input section here in the inspector or in the mixer itself. And if we click on the channel mode button, we can convert the entire channel strip to mono. So if we take a listen again, Cool. Now our audio is in mono. We could also make sure that the entire channel strip plays back in mono just by clicking on each plugin and converting each plugin from stereo to mono just by clicking on the right side of the plugin and selecting at the very top here under the plugin title from stereo to mono. And I'll do this for each one of these plugins. All right, so now through and through, this track and channel strip is in mono, despite the fact that the audio file itself is in stereo. Now, it might be kind of distracting for some to see the guitar play only out of the right side. We're going to make some efforts to correct this issue in that separate audio file editor. But also, take a listen to the noise that's generated by the guitar when it's not playing. Here we go. So the noise gate plugin on the guitar is helping to a certain extent. Listen to the very beginning. But when the guitarist moves his hand, we hear the noise pop through. Now we could just clean this up by removing that bit. Take a listen. So we'll get in closer. Right, so let's listen again. but the noise gate isn't picking up on the tail here. So we could further refine by eliminating and adding a fade. But what if you need to remove the noise altogether? You know, it's just such a big part of the recording that it's actually getting in the way of the performance itself. So let's take care of some of these issues right now. 
First things first, I'm going to select the guitar lead verse number 11 region and open the editor by clicking on the scissor button in the top left-hand corner of the control bar. And I'm going to make sure to navigate to the audio file editor in Logic Pro. So there's our region. If we go to audio file, we can create a backup of this audio file that we can then refer to. So let's click create backup. A menu pops up that tells us that a duplicate of this file will be stored in the same exact location as the original file. And the duplicate file will have appended to it DUP. So let's create it right now. If we navigate to the finder on my Mac, let's go to my desktop. We're working with a package. So let's right click or hold control and click and show the package contents. All right, so we can see our media under audio files and we're going to look for guitar lead verse number 11, but with DUP attached to it. So there it is. There's our duplicate file. All right, so now let's go back to logic. Let's close the editor by using key command E and let's now go up to Logic Pro down to settings, down to audio. Now, right under the file editor tab in the audio settings, we have this option to open our regions and files in the separate external sample editor. So first you'll need to choose the editor that you'd prefer to work with. So let's click on choose and I'm going to select Isotopes RX9 and then click choose again. At which point we can close the settings from here, you want to select the region that you want to edit and then either go to edit down to open in your preferred editor, in this case, Isotopes RX9, or you can use key command shift and W. It's going to take a second depending on your application, but now RX will open with this guitar audio loaded into it. All right, we see that the file's time code is a little too large. The time code will be set to zero. I don't think that'll be a problem. All right, so here's our guitar. As we noted earlier, it plays only out of the right side of a stereo signal. If we hit play. Of course, Amp Designer is a plugin in Logic Pro that's processing the guitar. So we're not gonna hear that amp sound. We're just gonna hear the clean guitar in RX. First, I wanna fix this issue of the guitar playing out of only the right side. So looking at all the processing on the right-hand side of RX, I'm gonna to navigate to a module called Mixing. And under the preset menu, I'm going to select Mix to Mono. And let's render. Cool, so now we have a guitar that plays out of both sides equally. Now check it out. If we go back to Logic Pro right now, we can see that something has happened, but in fact, nothing has happened. We see the guitar only on the right side, not playing out of both sides. If we convert back to stereo, this will be abundantly clear. Okay, so let's go back to RX. And the next thing that we need to do to apply these changes in Logic Pro, we just need to use Command and S to save or by going to the taskbar at the top, clicking on file, and then clicking on save. So now take a look inside Logic itself. There we go. So let's take a listen. Awesome. It's still in stereo, but at least we're working with an equal signal, both on the left and right hand sides. Next, I wanna deal with that background noise that you can clearly see right at the bottom here. So if we take a listen. First, we need to learn this bit of noise using a denoising plugin in RX. So I'll select the spectral denoise plugin, and then I'm going to learn this bit of noise that I've selected. If I now apply it across the entire file by clicking on render, We can see the noise has been removed.
And once again, if we go to file, down to save, and save, let's go back to logic. The file will have been updated. I just turned off the noise gate plugin, so let's hear that one more time. So much better. I'm so happy with these results. Now I can just move forward, continuing with this project. And these edits that I've applied in RX have been applied to the audio file itself that Logic Pro is referring to. So no need for extra plugins or processing running in the background as a plugin. But again, it's worth noting if we quit Logic Pro, if we quit RX, there's a chance that we might not be able to revert back in the future prior to those edits. In the event that you need to go back to that original file and you can't in that separate audio file editor, well, let's just open the editor tab in Logic Pro, click on the audio file editor tab in the editor, and let's go to audio file and let's revert to backup. Okay, so we're going to paste audio data from the backup that we created today. We cannot undo this operation. Let's do it. There it is. Perfect. Let's shift and W. Now check it out. Rx is a little confused, so we need to close this tab, go back to logic, shift and W again. And from there, we can make better choices for edits in that separate audio file editor. Just always keep track if you've made a backup. So let's do this one more time with a bass guitar track. And similar, we have a bass guitar that plays only out of the right side, and it also has some background noise going on for it too. This time, let's use a different audio file editor to make these edits. So I'm gonna close RX. I'll go back to the taskbar at the top, Click on Logic Pro, go to Settings, to Audio. And under File Editor, I'm going to choose, instead of RX, Acon Digital's Acoustica. All right. Same thing. We can select the region that we want to edit. Either go to Edit, down to Open in Acoustica, or use Key Command, Shift, and W. All right, so here's our bass in Acoustica. If we take a listen and a look, Start it here. All right, so not ideal. Let's fix this right now. First, I'm going to go to the top, go to Tools, and let's convert the sample format. Under Number of Channels, I'm going to select from what should say Stereo to Mono and click OK. All right, so now our bass guitar is in Mono. Perfect. Next, I want to do some denoising. So if we change the view here, take a listen. Same thing. We're going to go up to enhancement, go down to analyze noise. So now Acoustica's Denoise 2 plugin has analyzed this noise. And if we take a listen to when the bass kicks in, Listen to where the noise is. All right, we've cleaned it up. So let's select all and process. Let's now, once again, go up to file and go down to save. If we take a look inside logic. There it is. There's our edits. Now, one thing I'm just thinking about is I forgot to make a backup of this bass guitar before I made these edits in Acoustica. So let's go back. Let's Command Z to undo, Command Z to once again undo. Now check it out. We got to make sure to save. Command and S to save. Go back to Logic. Now click Key Command E. Under the Audio File Editor tab, go to Audio File, and let's create a backup. 
All right, let's apply our changes. Command and S. And there we have it. Sounds A OK -okay to me. But if you're not comfortable going to the audio file editor and then clicking on audio file and creating a backup and then trying to remember that there's a backup that exists there, well, an easier way would probably be to just bounce in place. I'm going to go up to file, go down to bounce, and let's bounce this region in place. We can create a new track. We'll mute the original source. We'll bypass all our effect plugins. And let's click OK. Now we have a backup take folder that will be completely untouched in any sort of permanent way. And then we will have our bounce, which is a completely new audio file that we can make these edits to. And then we have our backup take folder just in case we make a bad edit and we need to backtrack somehow. Again, an advanced technique in Logic Pro that requires separate applications, but it can really be a workflow enhancer if you're working outside of Logic Pro routinely for cleaning up and fixing audio. Thanks so much. And I'll see you for more next week here on Why Logic Pro Rules. Take care.